Hi all, it's Ziv from Elementor. Today, I'll show you how to use the single post template, which gives you the freedom to globally edit the layout and design of your posts, no matter the theme you use, and determine where you want to display it throughout your site. This way, when you add new posts, it'll automatically have the layout and design you set up in the template, saving a lot of time by ensuring design consistency throughout your site. Let's check it out. In Theme Builder, click here to add a new single post template. You can choose a pre-built single post template from the library or go to my templates and insert a saved one, which is what I'll do for this tutorial. You can also create one from scratch by closing the library. When inserting a template, you'll be asked if you'd like to import its document settings as it may override previous ones. I'll go ahead and click yes. As you can see, I've already set up a header and a footer. Let's focus on the single post template's content and see what it's made up of. Let's check out this post title widget, which as it sounds, displays the title of your posts. This widget is dynamic, meaning it will change according to the post your visitors view. And as you can see in the panel on the left is one of many single post specific widgets, such as the post content, featured image, and author box widgets. Let's drag in the post content widget over here. Cool, it automatically displays the post's text. And if your post is missing content, such as a featured image for example, you'll see a gray area, which is a placeholder for the dynamic content, indicating you should add it in your post settings. Now, the cool thing is that you can style all of these widgets to your liking and build a template just like any other Elementor page. And when you're done, simply publish it and set the conditions that determine where this template will be used across your site. In my case, I want all my posts to inherit this template's design. So I'll make sure it's set to include all singular. You can get very detailed over here and set it to be applied to specific categories, for example. You can even add multiple conditions and set it to be excluded from specific places. Don't forget to hit save and close. Now, in order to get a quick preview of what your single post template looks like on other posts, simply click the settings cog here on the bottom left and go to preview settings. Set it to preview dynamic content as post and search for the post you'd like to preview. Then click apply and preview. Cool, the post inherits the template's design and looks great. Well, that's it. Now you know how to use Elementor's single post template and create your own ones however you like or use a pre-designed one from the library. Go ahead and explore the cool dynamic widgets that'll help you further design your single post templates and save lots of time. Have fun creating and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials. Ciao for now.